Roof Framing Residential Gable Roof rafters attach to ridge with ceiling joists and blocking. Residential roof framing is most often a gable roof. Roof angles or pitch work on a rise to run basis so a 4 to 12 or 4 and 12 means there is 4 inches of rise for every 12 inches of run. Ceiling joists are placed first, typically 16 inches on center crown up, which are the horizontal members extending from wall top to wall top called the span, the measurement from outside to outside. End joists are often laid flat and notched to allow the end roof rafter to pass. Roof rafters are the members angling down from the ridge to the top of the walls. The rafter tail is the amount which extends over the walls or overhang. The ridge runs the full length of the roof. Roof rafters are cut at an angle, called a ridge cut, to meet flush with the ridge and are notched with a seat cut to fit over second top plate of the exterior walls. Gable braces are used to enclose the end trusses and sway braces angle up from the flat end ceiling joist to the ridge to provide lateral support. Blocking is used to enclose rafter bays and intermittently to resist rotation of roof rafters. Roof rafters are covered in plywood sheathing. Residential roof framing is most often a gable roof consisting of roof rafters attached to a ridge and ceiling joists. Multiple choice question, roof framing residential gable A. Crawl space is older and slab on grade is newer. B. Vertical 2x4, 16 inches on center with sill plate and double top plate. C. Blocking works to resist rafter or joist or wall frame rotation. D. Roof rafters attached to ridge with ceiling joist and blocking. So the best answer choice in this case for roof framing residential gable is D as in dog, roof rafters attached to ridge with ceiling joist and blocking.